Hi, this is Udi, and welcome to Pigments by Arturia session. And this session is going to be an overview, and in the next sessions, I'm going to dive deeper into all the options. So uh, stay tuned. Let's get started. So this is a very exciting tool, and I really like it. It has a lot of op options, and it has a lot of ways for you to modulate, change, and create your sounds. And you understand that, I think, by the end of this tutorial. Um, so let's get started. What do we have here? So the main panel here, what, what we're seeing is um, this is the synth view. So we see the synth engines, you see the filters, and we see the modulators here, and we have the tabs for the different modulators. But when you change to FX, the upper uh, part is changing for the effects, and you can see bus A, bus B, ascend bus, and when you select the sequencer, which is actually a sequencer slash arpeggiator, uh, then you, you see all the controls for that. So again, synth, FX, sequencer, they change the top part here. What, what's not changing is the middle part and the bottoms here. So um, let's, uh, let's understand how this uh, synth works by exploring the engines and exploring the filters and so on. So you have two engines here and they can play um, together or you, you can just select one of them, either engine one or engine two. You can switch them on and off and you can select for each one of them, you can select the type, either an analog, virtual analog or a wavetable. And it's, uh, it's good to, uh, to know that Arturia took their 20 years plus experience in, um, in the field of uh, synthesis and modulating or emulating, uh, sorry, um, different synthesizers. And they combined all that knowledge to create pigments, but they also um, added their wavetable here, which is a more modern and more uh, flexible type of, uh, of um, synthesis. And we'll explore that in a moment. So I think what would make a lot of sense is to just hear out and have a look what exactly is going on when we're selecting the very basic um, um, settings here. Let's go to the default. We'll, we'll take a template, default. It actually sounds very good even in the default. And you can see that this is a wave table. And you have 2D and 3D modes. If we go to the 3D, you can see that, that that's the the waves, all the wave shapes are spread and you can just select the position here. But we'll, we'll go back to that in a moment. Engine 2, we'll select it. It's a normal, usual analog type of, uh, of synthesis and you have three different oscillators. And these oscillators can be, uh, you know, any of the basic shapes. And you can sync oscillator one to oscillator two. And you also have oscillator three that can be separated of the, the first two. And so you have three oscillators, which is already awesome. Now, what else? All the sound that you create with the oscillators will go into the output to the filters. And you have a couple of filters here. You have filter one and filter two. And you can turn them on and off very easily here. And you can switch between them. You can just flip them. 
And with this knob, with the filter mix knob, you can just select how much of each filter would you like to have? Would you like to have 100% filter one, maybe 100% filter two, or anything in between? And also you have some volume here to uh, attenuate the sound that goes into the filters because the filter themselves might add more volume here, more uh, gain. And so you might want to start off a little bit you know, behind and then work with the filters. So that's, uh, that's the idea here of the output. You also have noise and you ha also have modulations. You can modulate um, all kinds of uh, things here in, in this synthesizer, but in the analog, you have that option. When you go to engine one here, which I, s I selected with the wavetable, you can see that you have a lot of options to modulate the waveforms, and we'll get to that later. So that, that said, we have another very cool thing here, which is the tuning. So this is the normal tuning. You can go between 60 semitones up and down. And you also have a fine, which goes uh, between minus one and plus one semitones. And by the way, double clicking will get you back to, uh, to the default. And you have a drift. The drift means that we are sort of emulating um, some analog behavior. You'll see that the sound just goes detuned. Double click, goes back to zero. But you, we also have a quantized knob here, or a button. You click that, and you click this tool, mode quantize, and you see some sort of a keyboard layout, right? That's the, the black keys and the white keys. What it means is that this will lock the tuning to a selected, um, selected notes, and you can set up a scale. Just, you know, we, we can just select all the whites. That's, you know, major, C major. You can select anything else, you know, you can select something else and how it works, Let, let's hear it. And I think what would be a good example is, and also a good experience here, is to modulate the tuning. So let's just select the plus here, and you can see that this plus is just everywhere. You can find it on any of the parameters so we'll, we'll just select the plus and let's take for example function one and again in later tutorials I'll explain in uh, more detail what the functions are LFOs and all the other modulators so I'll just selected function one if you want to see how function one one looks like we go to functions here in the tab and we see just it just goes down here and so let's hear it. And I can change the shape of this function. Very, very nice. So you can see that the, the idea of the, the quantize can be very useful because if you want to stay in tune in the key, in your scale, then that's the way to go. Very, very useful. What else? So let's now explore the wavetable. And when you go to the wavetable, first of all, you can select wavetable. Second, you can select from uh, all these already preloaded waves wavetables. I can just double click here, and you, you see the selection. <laughs> And, and the way wavetable works is that you have a selection of, uh, or a, a, um, uh, you have a, a list of uh, wave, wave uh, forms, and you can just go in between all these waveforms. And I think what, what, again, would make sense, and that, that's exactly what people do, is modulate the position. So I can just click here and say, okay, 
you will be modulated by LF-01. So I'll just select LF-01. I'll go to LF-01, uh, and uh, I just want to see what's going on here. And I can say, OK, that's way too fast. Let's just, you know, take it slower. And I can change it, the root position here. Right. And you can see that the, the dot here doesn't go all the way. And the reason is because LF01 is set to, you know, point 0.29. So I'll go all the way. It will go all the way. I'll go down. It will be actually the opposite direction. But it doesn't matter because it's circular. So I'll just go something like that. And let's hear it. Right, so this is the position. And when you, when you select the position, um, you can stay in one place or you can just, um, you can play with that, you know, modulate that. But you can also, um, let's, you can select anything else. You can say, okay, let's, let's take, I don't know, binary and go to random here and you'll see that you have it binary it's either you know on or off and you have probability so there are a lot of ways to manipulate and to modulate the um, the engines here the the wavetable so go back double click and that's it so um Going going uh, back to to our wavetable, so th that's the main wavetable idea here. Again, you have filter mix, you have the volume as before, but what you have here is also all kinds of modulators, and you can modulate the wave the waveform that you have here. Let's go to to two uh, D. And let's see what happens when we are playing with these modulators. And I will explain more about them in future um, sessions. So let's have a look. So you have frequency modulation, phase modulation, phase distortion, wave folding. Very cool. And last uh, last option here with the wavetable is, for me, it's very, very useful. So we have the classic unison, which means that we are adding more voices. And we have detune and we have stereo spread. But we also have a chord mode. And that means that pigments can create chords for you um, right you know without any you know any effort at all so you select the chord here this is an octave and I can select fifth minor minor seven nine Nice. And so moving on to the effects. So we have two buses. We have bus A and bus B and a send bus. And you can control the amount of, um, of bus A, bus B, and the send bus here on the right. And you have a return. And let's, let's try and, and see exactly what's going on here. So when, when I select bus A, I have three slots here. And you can see that we already have a delay and we have a phaser. And I can just change the phaser into distortion. 
And you can see that I, I have here the bu bus A selector, so. You can see the drive goes in. You can see the, the delay. I can just turn it off. And bus B doesn't have anything. I can just select, let's say, uh, flanger and introduce it. Well, it doesn't sound very good, but you get the idea. And then we have a send bus. So this is uh, the send bus. And again, you have three slots. And you can, and you can see that we already have a reverb here, but you can change that to anything else. So um, I think that's you know the basic idea. And then we have a sequencer. The sequencer is either, um, either an arpeggiator or a classic sequencer. When you go to the arpeggiator, you can select the modes. I'll just, I'll just select a different, uh, let's take something else, not the, the usual template, let's take whatever key and piano. And And I'll cover that in a later tutorial. So that's the idea here. And I think that pretty much concludes the main functions of the synthesizer. And I hope this was uh, useful and beneficial for you. So stay tuned for our next session where I explore the engines in um, greater detail and explore the filters in greater detail and uh, all the functions and all the routing options that we have. Thank you.